thousands of children in Ghana whose lives are inevitably connected with public spaces, streets, shopping centers, marketplaces, lorry stations, and many other public spaces. Some of these children may have homes, but spend most of their time on the streets for survival. Just like all other children, street-connected children do have rights. As a network of organizations that have street-connected children at heart, Street Invest Partner Network is working closely with stakeholders to improve the lives of street-connected children. I stay on the street before I survive. Things are not going well on the street because if you put your things down and they'll be stealing it, and people are also cheating us on the street. We live in an area we feel that more than but now we send the Dumba Street so I live at Atomic with my parents. Sometimes I find it difficult to I find it difficult to get money to feed or to attend school. There are millions of children in every part of the world who live on the streets. With no parental care, no shelter and no education, street-connected children are left to their fate. To raise awareness of their issues, each year Street Invest Partner Network join the world to celebrate the strength and resilience of street-connected children and to highlight their rights on April 12th, International Day for Street Children. This year we mark the day in Tamale, the northern part of Ghana. Street-connected children need the opportunity to discuss issues that affect them. The United Nations have specifically acknowledged this in UN General Comment 21. In a recent forum, Street Invest gave street-connected children the platform to share issues that affect them with each other. These children spoke strongly about their plight with lots of bitterness, but also hope for a better future. He said he went to the streets by the by the death of his father, and he sells biscuits to survive on the streets. He has never been to school, and he is hoping for the worst intervention to survive on the streets. I was speaking with someone, and he left me alone. So I work alone. I can get about 25 dollars. <coughs> because my father don't have money, I do not. I do that. I do that job small, small to help my father because my mother is dead. Now I am staying with my father at, at Abola. I use that money to go to school. I also use some to feed my younger brother. My brother is 10 years old. I am going to JHS 1. I am 12 years old. My father is a if street connected children are always given the opportunity to share their story and to speak up for themselves, each one of us can become part in changing their lives for the better. These children are not to be looked down on and pitied. They are our future leaders, doctors, teachers, lawyers, and we need to lift them up. Let us give street connected children a listening ear and respect their rights. Let us all take up the responsibility to help children in street situations for the children of our future.